Hey guys, what's going on? Making a quick video for the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Uh, just a quick video on taking it down and reassembling it. Uh, videos for a friend of mine from work, but I figured I'd put it up on YouTube. I know there's probably a hundred of them, but what's one more? Alright, let's get started. This is coming right out of my holster from my hip. Still in the holster. Um, so it is loaded. First thing you want to do always is clear and check it. Take the magazine out that is loaded, and you want to flip that safety off and get that round out of there. So, check it. I'll pull this back, lock it. There we go. And you see, there's nothing in there. Nothing in the magazine. No magazine. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is take that lever down there, just like that and you're going to want to pull that lever out. Now it's going to be kind of tough at first so you can use something like a small pocket knife I have here. And it'll come right out just like that. And pull that right out of there. You see that. Put it there and then next you can just take that slide, just bring it forward slowly and it'll slide right off. Now just like Glock, m and some of the very common semi-autos. Your guide rod and spring come right off. And you can also take the guide rod out of the spring there. You want to clean it up. Barrel slides right out, just like any other normal semi-auto. Now put it back in. It's almost the same as taking it apart with one small difference. Just put that barrel back in place, put the guide rod and spring back in. And when you put the slide back on to the frame, you're going to want to lock it back, just like that. Take your pin, and it goes right in, and you only put it back in the same way right before you swung it down. It's pretty easy to put back in. You may need to wiggle it around a little bit, but it'll, it'll go back in, no problem. Don't be afraid of it. Make sure that you don't do what I just did. See the barrel there didn't seat correctly. I'll bring that forward and then lock it back again. There we go. All right. So you want to make sure that barrel is forward. If not, then you're not going to be able to get that pin in. It's not going to lock forward all the way. So, let's try that again. There we go. That pin should go right in there. There we go. Locks right in. And then, you're good to go. Quick disassembly, reassembly. If you've run into any problems, you can always watch the video again. Have a good day.